This is the clutch tool. Junior Drag's your secondary clutch tool to be able to check your springs on the secondary, but it also works on this style clutch because we can move it from the outside. Now, a lot of people will say, hey, why don't I just buy a $15, $20 spring and replace it? Well, you can do that. But we also know, the more we've raced these things, that these springs are not all the same. They may be coming from the same one or two manufacturers in the United States or China, but they're, they're also, uh, they're different. Just like a valve spring on a big motor, V8 motor or whatever, even though they say they're supposed to be a certain um, spring rate, whether open, closed or whatever, they're not. These are no different. What this tool allows us to do on this style clutch is measure the crack pressure. So I can come in here. So you gotta get used to the feel of this tool. So as I'm pushing down and I feel the seat, that thing unseat, I look at my gauge and it's right at 34 pounds. On this style clutch, this is a non-overdrive unit made for the little motors. Now, the secondary, it's the same way. We put our tool up here, we apply pressure until it moves. And then we back off, apply a little pressure, back off, and then do the same thing as you're looking at the gauge, you can see what the crack pressure is, the seat pressure. This little baby here is about 38 to 40. If you need more than that, on an overdrive or say an 890 or 790 car, you'd be able to jump the holes to achieve that. Obviously on this one, we're not. People use fish scales. Okay, well it's very generic. Does it work? Yes. Is it as accurate? Absolutely not. When we push downward pressure on this secondary, we're activating these roller balls or whatever if you've got the Teflon style you're activating the sliding and the friction of that. So you can tell very specifically, when we, when we put a fish scale on this and we pull on this, we pull this ramp away from the slides. That's not accurate. What is accurate is when you take, you have a torsion spring that's being pushed down to get spring tension, and you're also hitting your rollers or your slides on the ramp, which gives you, when this clutch is coming in, it's got that friction right there. So depending on how clean, depending on so many factors, lubriskity, I don't think that came out right, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. All has to do with it. Now you can further push this down until it stops and check what your open rate is. 